throughout time, people across the world told each other tales of how they came to be, of heroes and monsters, romance and tragedy, death and rebirth. Mythology helped shape the ancient world, explaining the unexplainable. This is Mythology Unleashed. Picture, if you will, the winds pick up speed. The skies darken as storm clouds roll in. Lightning flashes and the crack of thunder echoes across the plains. There is an inherent thrill that comes with thunderstorms, as if nature itself is putting on a show of power, one that can be dangerous, but one that brings life with it. Many cultures have identified thunder, lightning, and storms with some of the most powerful deities and spirits ever conceived in mythology. The ancient Greeks had Zeus, the Norse had Thor, the Japanese had Raijin, and many First Nations people of North America had the Thunderbird. Appearing in stories and artwork from many peoples indigenous to the Pacific Northwest, as well as some peoples of the Southwest, far northeast coast, Great Lakes and Great Plains regions, the Thunderbird goes by many different names and takes on many different forms as both a creator and a destroyer. The general depiction of the Thunderbird is the form of a massive bird of prey, usually an eagle said to be so large that it can snatch a full-grown whale from the ocean as easily as an eagle snatches a fish from the lake. Thunder sounds as it flaps its mighty wings, and lightning flashes from its eyes. Due to the vast distribution of its legend, the Thunderbird has taken on a number of different roles throughout mythology. In some stories, it is a benevolent entity, blessing the people and protecting humanity from dangerous spirits. In some stories, it is seen as incredibly dangerous even hostile towards mortals in its path. And in some, it is neither inherently good or bad. Rather, it is just a part of nature, albeit an extremely powerful part. Regardless of how it is portrayed, the Thunderbird is universally revered as a powerful being, inciting both honor and fear. A number of recurring themes are also present within the stories of the Thunderbird, often having them live in inaccessible places far from the reach of human beings, and seemingly endless battles with various evil beings that live underwater. In Anishinaabe mythology, the Thunderbirds are greatly revered, appearing in creation myths and are even said to be the very ancestors of the human race. The Thunderbird controls the upper world, while the underworld is controlled by the underwater panther, or great horned serpent, at whom the Thunderbird casts its lightning bolts, protecting humanity from its wrath. In Ojibwe mythology, the Thunderbirds were created by Nanaboju for the purpose of battling the underwater spirits as well as punishing humans who broke moral rules. The Thunderbirds lived in the four directions and arrived with the other birds in the springtime. In the fall, they migrated south after the ending of the underwater spirit's most dangerous season. The Menominee of northern Wisconsin tell of a great mountain that floats in the western sky where the Thunderbirds reside. They are messengers of the great sun. They control the rain, hail, and snow, and revel in battle and deeds of greatness. They are the enemies of the great horned serpents, the Misikanubic, and have prevented them from overrunning the earth and devouring mankind. According to Lakota legends, the great thunderbird Wakinyan Tanka was the descendant of the great sky spirit, 
that had created the world and brought people into existence. He came into conflict with the water spirit Unktehi, who viewed people as parasites. And she and her followers, the Unktehila, sought to drown all humans. Scared for their lives, the people retreated to the highest hill that they could find and prayed for help. Wakinyantanka heard their pleas and led the other Thunderbirds into battle against the Unktahi and her followers, splitting open the earth with their lightning bolts and driving off the evil spirits away from humanity. While many, many stories of Thunderbirds show them in protective lights, defending humans from primordial dark forces and blessing them with gifts, there are also plenty of stories where Thunderbirds can be spiteful, mischievous, or outright volatile towards people. Hochuk mythology tells of an orphan boy who had been captured by rogue Thunderbirds intent on eating him, and was only saved by the intervention of a pigeon hawk and the noble leader of the Thunderbirds. In another tale, originating from Quileute mythology, a hunter stumbles upon a fresh whale carcass and feeds it to his people, unconcerned that this whale was the intended dinner of a Thunderbird. In retaliation, the Thunderbird caused a mighty storm, complete with pelting rain and hail the size of a man's fist. When the storm had passed, he proceeded to turn all the people and what remained of his whale into stone, forming a ridge that remains there to this day. Just like thunderstorms, the Thunderbird is powerful, enchanting, just as much as it can be frightening and even dangerous. It has been revered as a mighty protector and benefactor of the people of Earth, as well as a vengeful spirit. Though its role in mythology may change from tale to tale, the Thunderbird is among the most revered figures in all of Native American folklore. Throughout history, the Thunderbird symbol has appeared on totem poles, pottery, petroglyphs, masks, jewelry, and carvings. The legends have been told through songs and oral histories for countless generations. With its great size and awesome power capable of bringing life and death in equal parts, the Thunderbird is the ultimate embodiment of the power of nature. <laughs>